most expensive cars in the world. Hello again. As always, we're here for the love of cars that we may never be able to afford. <laughs> Anyways, there's absolutely nothing wrong with dreaming and feeding our eyes with premium beauty. You know, I've always wondered if someday luxury car brands could allow excursions where people get to ride in luxurious cars they love but cannot afford to own. Maybe something like an amusement park for cars. A ride in a Rolls Royce or Ferrari would definitely be a dream come true for many people. And you bet I'd probably set up a tent there. Well, it's the 21st century and anything can happen, but for today, let's go back to dreamland. If you're just as curious as I am, you must have wondered about the most expensive cars in the world. You'll agree with me that there's no better way to make a grand appearance than in a car that simply looks like a work of art. Automobile companies like Ferrari, Bugatti, Mercedes, Lamborghini, Cosineg, and Rolls-Royce has seemed to have mastered the art of building the mobile wonders of the world. However, we've also come to realize that this doesn't come cheap at all. It is best described as luxury. Now, which five cars top that list? What are their features, and what do they look like, and how much do they cost? Now let's cut right to the chase before I spill the beans. Test your knowledge of cars and type in the comments. What car do you think is the most expensive car? Don't cheat, and don't think about it too much. Just type, then wait around to see if you're right. It's time, let the countdown begin. Now coming in at number five is the Mercedes Maybach Accelero, which costs a whopping $8 million. Mercedes Maybach Accelero. This car debuted 18 years ago, yes, 2004, yet it has remained an unforgettable name on the lips of car enthusiasts. The Mercedes Maybach line itself is one of the high performance lines of the Mercedes cars. The Accelero was made just once, and there's still only one type of it in the world to this day. In a bid to test an exceptional tire model, Mercedes built this wonder on wheels in association with the tire brand Fulda. The name of the tire was the Fulda Carrot Accelero, hence the name Mercedes Maybach Accelero. How did a tire test result in making one of the most expensive cars in the world, and what features makes it worth as much as $8 million? First, the tire needed to be tested on a car with a heavy engine, so the engine is a V12. A V12 engine is a piston engine with 12 cylinders. They are arranged in pairs of six with a V configuration and a central crankshaft. These kinds of engines have always been used in racing boats, Formula One racing cars, aircraft, railway and locomotives, and marine engines. So you can tell this is a really powerful car. The design for the car was given to four students and one design was eventually selected. The Accelero has an outer body similar to the Maybach 57, sleek exterior and luxurious interior. The Accelero is a car that was well ahead of its time and remains a wonder to this day. It's also one of the most famous cars because it's been used in music videos of world class artists including Jay-Z. And number 4 is the Bugatti Centodisi at 9 million. Bugatti Centodisi. Your first reaction when you see this car will be, wow. It's a jaw-dropping wonder, I tell you. So far, only 10 units have been built for delivery. This is quite understandable as Bugatti prides itself on being an exclusive luxurious brand. You'd have to be wealthy to be able to afford this beautiful Bugatti. But is it just overpriced with no value? No! Let's first register clearly that while you may argue about the prices of luxury cars and how they compare to each other, the automobile giants were not built on just hype. Many of them have been around for years, developing nothing short of excellent standards with extreme attention to the most minute details. In fact, the Cento DC means 110. This was a pointer to the 110th anniversary of the Bugatti, a century and one decade. The exterior features super slim LED lights, a horseshoe grille, and slits at the front. It also features an exquisite interior with chessboard leather seats, central console, roof liner, and even floor mats inspired by the EB110. It would seem that the most phenomenal cars have been a story behind them. 
from the Accelero made to test a special tire to the Centro DC made to celebrate the 110th anniversary and pay homage to one of the cars Bugatti Automobili last made before it went bankrupt, the EB110. Rolls Royce Swept Tail. And that leads us to the Rolls Royce Swept Tail at number three. It was specially crafted by Rolls Royce as one of their most valued customers. You know the way you book a fashion designer to make you a special suit or dress to fit your taste and body specially? A one of a kind dress that nobody else has. That's exactly what this person did, but this time he booked automobile giant Rolls Royce. Whoosh! Now tell me what a huge flex that is if not that. Oh my. And this car costs $13 million. Yes, you heard that right. Rolls Royce tells the story of how they were approached by a client to build a special car that draws inspiration from the luxury yachts used between the 1920s and 1930s. Seems like they said, say no more, we've got you. To truly appreciate the beauty of this car, you have to view it from four basic angles. The front, the sides, the back, and the top. Yes, the top. And trust me, this is not just because of the conventional drone shot. The view from the top is perhaps the most beautiful I've seen in a car. I mean, if I were to see it in person, I'd probably run around it to view it from a hundred different angles, including from directly under the car. Yes, I said that. Anyways, let's see this car from all the angles that make it special. From the front, it has a box-like rigid shape that gives this exquisite and grand look, but as you walk around the side, nothing prepares you for how it morphs into a sleek beauty all the way to the back. There's a very beautiful play on squared rectangle forms, but what is most fascinating is how the triangular forms which imitate the yacht are incorporated into the design. The view from the top is phenomenal. Honestly, I'd like to just lie there and have my picture taken from a thousand meters above. There's a glass roof that moves from the top to the back. It reveals the exquisite interior in such a stylish, captivating manner. This astonishing model derives its name from the swept tail at the rear end where the roof top glass merges with the hand polished mirror like aluminum body of the car. The Bugatti La Vettore Nore. Now at number two, the Bugatti La Vettore Nore at $19 million. The Black Car. That's the translation of the name. This is also a one off creation. And please, why shouldn't it be? How many people can afford to pay $12.5 million on a car and $19 million in total, including tax? Huh. Anyways, let's see what's so special about this car. First, it lives up to its name. It is indeed the black car. It has a beautiful spine-like design that runs through the middle, over the roof, and from the front to the back. It's a coach-built car very similar to the Chiron model, but with a longer wheelbase and body than the standard Chiron. This handmade car with its diamond-like chiseled black body makes it both a beauty and a beast. You know what's more there is to know about this car? Whew, the owner remains anonymous to this day. I'll tell you for sure, I would never buy one of the most expensive cars in the world and stay quiet. I'd most likely cruise around all day, every day with my name emblazoned on the sides of the car. <laughs> I'm just joking. Or maybe not. We may never know. Boat Tail Rolls Royce. And finally, we have the most expensive car in the world. It is Rolls Royce again with another model that totally breaks the chart at an estimated $28 million. It's the Boat Tail Rolls Royce. This handmade car looks like a magnificent piece of vintage beauty. It is one of the three custom made nautical inspired cars. When viewed from the back, you can see what looks like a boat tail inspired by the sailing boat. And that's not all there is to the rear end. There's a secret compartment. Well, it's not so secret anymore because I'm gonna tell everyone. With just one button, it opens up like a butterfly with two flaps that form an angle with each other like a pair of wings. It gives the perfect poolside a beachfront feel with an umbrella, picnic stools, cocktail tables, and champagne chest. 
I know, it sounds like something from fantasy fiction, but this is real. And that's what Rolls Royce has done with the boat tail. Luxurious beauty that seems like it was picked from a fairy tale. But it's right there in flesh and blood. Sorry, uh, in aluminum and glass and wood and leather. The interior reeks of pure luxury and comfort with top-notch wooden finishes and rich leather. The idea is to walk up to this car for an experience. Unlike other cars that drive you to have an experience, this car hosts you for a unique experience that only the Rolls-Royce tailboat can give. Wow, this has been such an amazing ride. So let's check the comments again. Did you guess right? It's okay if you didn't, now you know.